Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we were discussing turtle graphics in Python. We have discussed, I guess, turtle graphics almost many methods I have shown you there from the Python documentation, turtle documentation and the basics we have discussed, some coding exercises we have done. Now it's up to you how you explore that thing, right? Have you work on project based on turtle, right? Okay. Now we'll be discussing some more advanced concept in Python that is higher order function. I hope now you know what is a function in Python, how to define a function, how a function is going to accept arguments, how a function is going to return a value and all. This thing we have discussed already. So now this is some advanced concept in functions, right? That is higher order function. This thing we'll see in Python. And this is also very helpful when we were discussing later decorators or event listeners. They will be using higher order functions, right? So for, let's first understand this thing. This is the basic one for all further advanced concept, right? So a higher order function is what? It is a function that either accept a function as an argument or returns a function. Two things are there right I'm going to show you these two things with example okay let's see first example program then after this the completing of this video completion of this video you will get the definition easily of that higher order function right so let's see so let's create a, a new file first higher order function dot py simple function i hope you know let's see one simple example let's uh, i'm taking one example add and x and y this is simple function right and we have discussed this thing before so if you want to execute this add then you have to call this add now you have to pass to the, these um, arguments right so it is returning x plus one uh, x plus y so you have to store that value in some variable like I'm storing this in result or directly you can print this thing and now I'm printing this result right let's run this and I'll show you see three so add is a simple function which is which is accepting two argument simple variables are there x and y it is returning some value that is x plus y right and how to execute this function you have to call this function like this right if I simply print this add, okay, so rather than see, rather than this result, if I simply print this add, the name of the function, just the name of the function, no colon. So let's run this. See, it is showing function add at this some address, right? So it is not giving any error actually. So it is at some particular address, right? So in Python functions are treated as objects, right? So we can assign this function to a particular variable as well. See, let me show you this thing also. If I write something like this, addition equal to add. If I write something like this, right? And after that, what I'm going to do, I'm just calling addition, passing two comma one. Let's just comment out this thing. Okay, let's run this. What you will get? Pause the video and write down your answer in the comment section. So yeah, we are getting three. Because these are considered as objects. So we can assign these to any other variable as well. So addition is simple. Another function name. I'm just assigning the value without calling, without these brackets. And then I'm calling addition. So by addition we are calling this and if you print if you print both this add and if you print both addition like this we are not calling add and addition we are simply printing the name of the function see function add at this location function add at this location so as you have seen the location was same for both add and addition right so like this functions are treated as an object and we can assign that function to another variable also right so let's see now that part of the definition it higher order function except a function as an argument see here we are passing x and y simple like variables or any values 
So rather than this, we can pass a function also as an argument, right? Okay, let me show you that example. Simple example we will take. So let's take a function. We'll take a function like greet and simply print, uh, it is going to simply print hi. Let's take another function, maybe like any other function, display. And within this function, as an argument I am passing, sorry, as a, here now we are just uh, defining it so, it will be a parameter. So it is taking a function, right, as a parameter, it is accepting as a function. So, other defined function this variable name I am going to take for now. So let's, this is simple, I am going to print display function. Sorry, it is, right? Now, see, let's call display function. And what you have to pass, some other defined function. Yeah, we have in our program a defined function greet. So let's pass greet in this. Greet. Simply greet. Know these round brackets. Simply the name of the function. Because whenever you pass just the, it is accepting any function. So just pass the name of the function. If you write down these bracket means we are calling that function. Right? So just pass the name. Just greet. Okay, let's run this. What you will get? This is display function. This is display function. But I want to execute this greet also. Because we are just passing greet here. Right? So, you have to call that function to execute that function. So, just write down here other function and with these round brackets. So, now this line means we are executing this function. Whatever you will pass. Let's run this time. See, this is display function and hi. Because this line would be printed, then the name is greet. So greet and now the round break it. Means this line is what? We are executing the function. We are calling the function. So now control will go to here. Where the definition of this greet here. And it is printing hi, so it will print hi. Right? So see, this function is accepting other function as an argument. Right? So this is higher order function. Here display is higher order function. Greet is not higher order, higher order function. Display is higher order function. Right? If I, uh, like, let's take another example. If I define two function. And rather than see these, the name of the function only, we can pass simple other argument as well. Like any uh, integer value A, B, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4 like this or any string value also like name of any other person like this. We can pass any other simple argument as well rather than functions, right? Combination of these two also we can give. So, see, I want if I say, say louder. So, suppose I am passing my name Jenny and I say, say louder. So, that would be printed in capital letter. If I say like, say softer, means in a low voice. So it will print Jenny in small letter. So this thing I want to uh, execute, this thing I want to do. So let's make two function, uh, greet louder and here we'll be passing any name. So whatever you will pass, it will print hi and the name in capital letter. So using f string we are printing from name it will fetch but it will convert it into upper keys like this something like this right and same other function i'm going to define but that would be sorry greet louder it's like maybe what exact term we'll use i'm using just softer greet softer and name and high and that would be in Printed in lowercase. So I will be printing the uh, converting the name into lowercase, right? And now, uh, sorry, rather than this, suppose take like maybe hello, name of a function I am taking hello. So some other defined function I will pass and as well as I will pass here any name also. So I am just taking name. Any other thing, any other um, you can say uh, variable name also you can take parameter name. It's not like that you have to take name only. Okay. Okay.
Now this is uh, the display function and it will call the other defined function and it will pass whatever the parameter you will pass. So the variable name is name. So that is why this and this, this and this name should be same. So if I am passing here name 1, it should be name 1. So let us pass name 1. Now we are calling no display function. We have now hello. We are calling hello. In hello, what you need to pass? Other defined function. So here we are passing the name of the other defined function. Greet louder. Greet louder. Just the name. No, without these brackets. Comma and you have to pass any name also. So I am passing like Jenny. Right? Now let us run this. What you will get? See, it will print hi and name of the Jenny is in capital letter. Right? Because only name I have converted into upper. And again I am calling the second function I am going to call now read software. And same, suppose I am passing this Jenny now in capital letter. So see, first time in caps because that was louder. Second time we are calling softer. So hi Jenny is now in small letter. So like this we are passing see the this uh, in this function as an as an argument we are passing. See the name of other defined function. Hello is a function and greet software is also a function. So as an argument we are passing another function as well as some other argument also you can pass. Right. So this hello is here higher order function. Right. This thing will be very useful when you are you are, you know creating event event listeners. I will show you that thing also later. Now this is one part. Second part is it also returns it can also returns a function. Right. So a return a function. Let's see this thing also I will show you. In the previous case I have told you I have shown you in add fun, add was a function and that was returning x plus y. I mean simple the value. Right addition. But what if return and after that we are returning a proper function, right? Let's see that thing also. Okay, let's take one more example here. And uh, in hello, let's it's accepting name and we're just printing here this thing. And within hello, we have another function. Suppose we have a function greet within this hello to print Hare Krishna and we have one more function suppose that is welcome and they, there we will just print like maybe Jai Shri Ram. Okay. Now we are putting one condition if the name equal to equal to suppose Jenny then then return greet just the name of the function without these brackets otherwise else return welcome right so see this hello function is returning function it is returning a function either this or this so this hello is here also a higher order function so let's call this hello and what we will suppose we are going to pass Jane okay let's see what is happening hello has been executed nothing would be printed because the expected output was it should call greet because it is returning greet so it should print Hare Krishna as well the hello has been executed but no Hare Krishna will be printed why so because see we are not calling this greet or this welcome function anywhere in the program. We are just returning the function as an object. Return greet. Simple the name. To execute this greet actually you have to call this greet proper with round bracket. Right? So what should we do now? See now. This hello Jenny. So it will call, pass here Jenny. This line will be printed. Now this def 
this step okay now it will go to this line if name is equal to is equal to jenny yes this is satisfied so control will enter into this if block and return greet return greet greet is a function proper function right and it is returning this thing so for if this is returning something so obviously you have to accept that in other variable name right so i'm taking like new function right so in new function it is returning greet so now to execute this greet you have to call this new function you have to call this new function right let's run this see now hello has been executed and hare krishna it will print right and if the name is not jenny suppose name is jenny uh, khatri so definitely this time it will print jay shri ram okay because the condition was not satisfied so it will return welcome so whatever it will return we are just storing this into new function that at first of this video i have discussed this thing addition is equal to add and to call the, that add you have to call addition with bracket so now you have to call this new function with bracket right so right now this simply like an object okay so something like this you have to do if you simply print new function see hello has been executed function hello dot local welcome because in new function now it is returning because of this condition welcome so local is welcome at this just giving you the address where is this welcome but actually it is not executing the welcome so to execute welcome what you have to do just this new function and you know these brackets you have to call this right now it's been it has been executed so this hello is a higher order function in this case so this is the case first one was when the function is accepting other function as an argument and here it is returning a function right so this is higher order function i hope you got with this example now a higher order function is either is a function which either accept a function as an argument or returns a function okay now one assignment for you is you have to do this thing you know in calculator simple calculator we have add subtract multiplication and division these are four function returning addition subtraction multiplication and division but you have to now define a this type of calculate function calculator function and then in calculator function you have to pass the name of these functions with two argument and whatever name you will pass that function should be executed that function should be called from these functions and that should be executed means this is an example of passing a function as an argument right so this is your assignment you have to do this thing you can write down the lo logic in comment section right now that's it for this video and in the next video probably we will see event listeners or we will see decorators right either event listeners or decorators so now i'll see in the next video till then bye bye take care